Hey y'all, welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Janae, if you didn't know, and today is day three of Halloween. So if you're ready, let's go. All right, y'all, so the story that I'm about to tell y'all today, it don't happen around Halloween, but it is a paranormal story. So we're just gonna go ahead and get straight on into it. It is December 1994, and the new baby doll that is all the rape is the Topsy Tail doll. And this is a doll, I don't know if y'all are old enough to remember like the Topsy Tail, but they have this like little instrument. I don't even know what to call it, but to me, it looked like um, a bead thread or like one of those things that you put the beads on and then you put the beads on your hair or whatever. That's what it looked like, but you use this particular tool to create a topsy tail ponytail. And this is the topsy tail doll right here. And she comes with all of these different accessories, like different hair color, like, like little, little different hair color clips, all kinds of stuff. And she is all the rave and all the little girlies want her. And that is no different for these two sisters Sierra and Jada. So Christmas Day rolls around and Sierra and Jada are super hyped. They are super excited and they go under the tree and both of them find that they have been gifted Topsy Tail dolls. And these are two little brown girls. And so they are even more excited when they see that they Topsy Tails are brown also. And at this time it's 1994. So black dolls are like, you know, they around but it's kind of like little slim pickings. But their mom is somehow able to get her hands on a brown topsy tail doll for both of her daughters. And Sierra and Jada couldn't be more excited. And at this time, Jada is five and Sierra, and Sierra is 10. And so they are loving on these topsy tail dolls. They play with them all the time. These Topsy Tails now have new names because you gotta name your baby dolls, right? And so Sierra names her baby doll Danielle and Jada names her baby doll Jessica. And they, they are just two little girls who are in love with these baby dolls, okay? And so unfortunately, Jada ends up losing her Topsy Tail and now there's only one left in the house. But Sierra, she not stingy. So she shares her doll with her little sister and they play together, they enjoy the doll and they still continue to have a great time with this one doll. And just about a year passes and it is now 1995, Jada is six and Sierra is 11. And so they still having a good old time with this topsy tail, like nothing's changed really. But one day Sierra and Jada are playing with Danielle and they are playing like tea party. And so they set out um, little pieces of ham for themselves. And they also give a piece to Danielle. And so they plan having a good old time Sierra eats her piece of ham, Jada eats her piece of ham, and obviously Danielle's little piece of ham is just sitting there. But Jada blinks, and I mean like literally blinks. And when she opened her eyes, Danielle's piece of ham is gone. And she's like, hold on, this can't be right. Did Danielle just eat? this piece of meat so she looks to her sister for confirmation she look at sierra and sierra looking at her and jada's like what happened to the, what happened to the meat what happened to this meat and sierra was like i don't know i guess she ate it and this is the year that toy story came out everybody's seen toy story so now jada is convinced right that danielle is alive she really ate this piece of meat because ain't no way that that she just blink and then the meat gone like it's just not a thing and jada had always been a sweet little girl and she was always like i guess kind to her toys if you want to say that but after this oh baby jada was trying to make sure that all the little toys was happy okay like i said she had seen toy story she was not trying to go out like sid okay she was just not because after all, 
this was proof, right? This was proof that toys were really real. And so years and years would pass and Jada will often think about this moment where Danielle came to life and she started to think like maybe she was crazy because no other toys had presented themselves to her. She didn't know. But what she did know was that Danielle had maybe had a slip up or something because that meat was gone. Now, I don't know if y'all believe in paranormal stuff like that or if y'all too believe that toys are somehow alive, but I can tell y'all, I can guarantee y'all that this is actually a true story. This is a real life story. And I can guarantee you guys that because y'all, Jada is me. It is me. It is I. And this is a story about me and my sister. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I was convinced, okay, Danielle ate this piece of meat. And just to be sure that I wasn't crazy, like just losing my damn mind, I went to my sister a couple years later just for confirmation. Like I had to be like 15 maybe. And I went to my sister, she's 20 at the time. And I was like, do you remember that day we were sitting down eating, you know, ham plan tea party and the doll ate the damn meat and she did in fact remember that day and she kind of chuckled and she was like, yeah, I, I do remember that day. And I just couldn't understand why she had chuckled because I'm traumatized at this point. And so y'all, my sister tells me that the reason that she chuckled was because she the one who ate the meat, okay? She stole Danielle's piece of meat and had me thinking for years that toys were real that toys actually was out here with spirits, okay? And I I wholeheartedly believed that from the age of five to like 15. Like that's a long time to be believing that toys is real, okay? I just couldn't believe that she had done me like that for that many years and just really had let me keep thinking that for real. And to this day, my sister thinks that that is the funniest thing in the world. Because I'm telling y'all, she has some hands on her. She has some quick hands. Because ain't no way she ate that piece of meat when I just blinked. I literally like blink and the meat was gone. But anyways, y'all, that is the story of the real live doll. Please let me know in the comments if y'all have have had any actual real paranormal experiences or know anybody who has. I'm not saying that they're not real or that they don't happen. What I'm saying is I was bamboozled, okay? Thank you all so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you all for day four of Halloween. Bye. Hey, y'all. Welcome and or welcome back to my channel. My name is Janae. If you, oh, there's a bug in here. I can't stand it. Like, I mean, come on now. You're five and Toy Story comes out and then your doll eats some damn ham you would think the toys were alive too, okay? Please let me know in the comments if y'all have had any actually... I should fight her.